gripping story. A Michiana teenager continues on the long road to recovery. Yeah, a little more than three years have now passed since Juliana Mendez was in an auto accident, which left her paralyzed. Mark Peterson is live in studio with us with an update to our continuing reporting. Mark, fill us in here. You know, uh, Juliana Mendez, just 13 years old at the time of this crash. She's now 16. She's a junior attending St. Joseph High School. <laughs> There was a time when Juliana Mendez believed she was born to dance. She started doing so competitively at the age of two. Anything can happen in your life. Anything can change at any moment. And it's be nice to know that at the end of the day, it can all be okay, no matter what life throws at you. In this case, life threw Juliana two spinal surgeries in two weeks at Riley Children's Hospital, followed by two months worth of rehab in Chicago. At that point, she boldly vowed to do what experts said she never would. She vowed to walk again. It's, of course, a dream of mine. It'll, it always will be. I'll always think about that. I'll always wish for that, and I'll always strive for it. But being in a wheelchair or not doesn't define who I am. It doesn't define my goals. Today, for the first time, Juliana shared her experience motivational speaker style with students at Stanley Clark School. Furthermore, she now has a part-time job and she is 50 practice hours away from getting her driver's license. I watch kids after school. I work at after school care um, and I love what I do and I love being around children because I can kind of make them more comfortable with you know different people. I mean as a kid I ran into people in wheelchairs and I kind of stayed quiet and I'd ask my mom I'm really like, why is they in a wheelchair? So, so uh, you know but um, working with kids I can make them more comfortable with it and help them recognize that differences don't define a person and every person is just a person. Well, Juliana says she wants to head to California uh, after graduation to continue her schooling and also to be close to the Abilities Recovery Center there. You know, you can't spell Mendez without men and she is certainly willing to put in the work. Wow. Amazing to see her progress up until this point, and, and those kids can certainly learn a lot from Inspirational. her. Inspirational. Inspirational in more ways than one, She's Mark. Beautiful. We appreciate you bringing us that story. Okay.